what's going on youtube today we're going to talk about dns enumeration with a tool named dick so dick is a linux tool that is used for dns enumeration and troubleshooting before we go about explaining dns enumeration with dig let's first get the basics ahead or, or clear so let's first start by defining what is a dns server so I know guys you know what is DNS server but it's good also to remind other people if they forgot what is DNS server so basically a DNS server is or DNS stands for domain name system domain name system server is the server that's responsible for converting a domain name for a website for example into an IP address so whenever you request a domain name in your browser the corresponding DNS server will convert the domain into an IP address to be able to uh, reach that website so basically that's how you reach the uh, various websites on the internet so and you know that most IP addresses of all sites are maintained in something called the DNS database okay depending on the kind and type of server the DNS database size will vary that's the first fact to know about DNS servers of course we are going very briefly or explaining very briefly the basics of DNS the video is not to explain the basics and foundations of DNS although we may dedicate a separate video to explain and dissect the DNS but in this video our objective is to explain DNS enumeration due to the fact that explaining the basics is inevitable to understand DNS enumeration we're going very briefly over the DNS basics so that's for the uh, definition of DNS server and how it works very briefly now there are specific uh, kinds of DNS servers for example we got uh, the root DNS servers or root name server so root name servers these servers uh, wait so this server does the job of translating the again the domain into an IP address the root server accepts the recursory query and send it to the TLD name servers in the next stage so we've got also the TLD name server and also we've got the recursive or recursor DNS server um, also we have the authoritative DNS server I'm making some typos for the sake of speed and lastly yeah these are only four so we have only four types of DNS servers every type of these DNS servers has its own um, function but they all function in the same way they convert domain into IP address now which one of these you are using it depends on the configuration for example if you have a local DNS server okay and the local DNS server has uh, a database of IP addresses say you requested google.com okay and your local DNS server has its IP address stored so in this case we're using the uh, sorry the recursor DNS server in that case sometimes if the current local server doesn't have the answer or doesn't have the IP address of Google it will forward the query to another DNS server on the line okay so basically normally root DNS servers or root name servers are at the very end they have the answers for all domains okay you can research more about these or you can wait till we produce a video about DNS basics now part of understanding DNS is you enumerate or perform DNS enumeration so when we say DNS enumeration we actually aim to display all of the records 
So let's say we got a domain name example.com, right? Okay, so this domain name has something called the DNS records. The DNS records state how this domain is accessed. And of course, it depends on the kind of servers. For example, domain name, of course, it should contain a record. It might contain MX records. It may contain CNAME records. These are the different kind of DNS records. It may also contain um, text records. And there are many types of DNS records. You can find them on the internet. But most probably, when you enumerate a domain name looking for the DNS records, you will stumble upon these four DNS records. And you will find extra DNS records, but let's say, let's focus on these as these are the most popular ones. So, an A record is the record that contains the IP address of the domain. So here we have the IP address. Okay. MX record. It is the record that contains information about the email server. What is the email server they are using? Is it local? Is it Microsoft? Is it Google? Is it Yandex? Is it Yahoo? And we have the C name. Here we have examples such as www. So if the domain uses www. You will find this under the C name. Text records contain DNS text records, relevant information such as verification information uh, about third-party websites integrated with the domain. For example, if they use um, the Google Search Console, okay, Google Search Console, it's an SEO panel, okay, uh, through which you can monitor the website performance. If you want to monitor the website performance with Google Search Console, you need to add a text record. So they will give you text record and you will take this and add it here so when you enumerate the domain DNS information DNS records of a domain you will see such information under the text uh, records field okay so that's what we mean by saying DNS enumeration we want to display the values of the DNS records so one way to do that is using a tool called dig okay now let's go to a practical scenario and use dig to enumerate a domain name so here we go and now let me open this so what i am doing today guys i'm using a room called dig dug dig dug is um, kind of city of room that requires you to find a flag hidden uh in one of the dns records found under this domain so we have given, we've, we've been given this domain name and we're required to extract the flag. The flag is stored in one of the DNS records we have talked about earlier. So now we're going to take this domain name and enumerate it using dig. Okay. We're using the attack, uh, the attack box machine from TryHackMe. So we start with dig and we plug in the domain name. Okay, that's it. So here we start a, a general or typical DNS enumeration. If we hit enter, most importantly is we focus on the answers section. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So this is the question section, right? It contains the query we have sent. So we've sent the query to, um, as you can see here, to enumerate the A record okay of the domain name so by default dig would enumerate or perform dns enumeration on the a record this is by default now if we we can specify the type of dns record we would like to enumerate using uh by specifying the uh, record name so the domain name and the record name enter and here we got the question section but we haven't got any answer Normally, if you type dig google.com A, as you can see here, we have a section called answer section. The answer section contains information retur ret uh, returned from the DNS server. So the DNS server has returned this information about google.com. Okay, we see the domain name, the TTL, the time to live, 
the time to live is a value denotes the time left after or the time left for the server to refresh the values of its DNS record, uh, the A record. We have the record that has been queried and AN stands for internet and we have the IP address of Google. But conversely, we haven't found such records when we queried give me the flag. Okay, so it means that the DNS server we are querying doesn't have the information or give me the flag. That's the answer. Normally, we send our requests to DNS servers. If DNS servers have the answer, we will get information uh, for our query. Our query here is to ask for the A record. But because the default DNS server doesn't have the answer on the IP address or the DNS record for this flag. By default, DIG uses the local DNS server and installed on the machine. It means we have to ask another server, another DNS server. Okay, so let's go back <coughs> and so this is the machine. Now, what we can do here, we can deploy the machine, okay guys, and start using the machine as it's uh, as a, the DNS server. So, when asking this machine, we didn't get any answer. So we have now to ask another DNS server. The another DNS server will be the machine IP of this room. Okay. Now while this is booting, let's go back. Okay. So for example, let's say I want to ask Google DNS server, right? I would do here. I would type the ampersand. And the IP address of the DNS server I would like to ask 8888 let's see if they have answer okay so it seems like Google has an answer as you can see we have got um, wait this is the question sec section and here we have got the information retrieved by Google okay now give me the flag.com has an SOA record statement of authority and we have the DNS server that has been asked now let's make sure that the machine has okay so it has booted successfully let's now go back and specify the machine IP as the DNS server we would like to query so dig at 1010 I know I can copy this but I would like to type it my own on my own improve my memory and then the domain which is give me the flag okay so by using this ip as the dns server we've got the answer section the answer section indicates that we have only one record which is the text record the text record contains the flag that we need to answer or to complete the room but the most important thing to note here is not the flag it's how we reach the answer so we reach the answer by changing the dns server we are querying okay so make a note of this now if you want to make sure that you have queried all of the dns records you can specify that by saying all here at the end of the command so by typing all um i think it's not the correct query let's see here question section but we haven't got any answer okay so let's go back it is actually any not all so by saying any here i get the sort of information so connection refused connect to five three uh-huh so here, most probably, we're making connections to, uh, yeah, to a port that is refusing our request. So basically here, the port 50, 53 for the DNS server is refusing our request. So maybe we are, maybe we are um, prohibited from asking or querying all the records. Let's go back and specify A, for example, A record. Um, yeah, so for A record, there is no record for... There is no IP address, right? We got only text record. Let's see if we have MX, email records, 
and again we don't have any records on the MX we've only got text but if you specify text here so the question is text the answer we have the flag stored in the text records now there are other uses of dig or other forms of using dig for example we can display short answer or short using plus short as you can see when using the plus short we get only the value or the values of the DNS records since only we have one DNS record which is the text we get only one line here which is the value of the record if we want detailed answer we can instead of short we can use plus no all plus answer here we get detailed information as you can see we get the version of dig okay and here we have the answer in a detailed fashion let's apply that on a domain that we know it has more than one record of course it is Google so let's here dig google.com and use short so using short we get IP addresses so to understand what are these we're gonna go back and use um, no all plus answer okay see here we got detailed answer so as you can see Google uses more than one a record and these are the IP addresses we were able to query now if we put here any To query all the records again we get only a records now there is a way guys to limit the results or the details returned when using dig using DNS security again this is not the scope of this video we may cover this later now let's take the flag and see if this is the right flag okay that was it guys i hope you guys found this video useful and more than only solving the room uh and i will see you definitely in the next video guys